So yeah, thanks to Xiaofeng and Kang Samman. And yeah. this is the, the performance uh, in the project initiated by OCAC. And the project name is A Fly Enters, Immense Breeze of the Sea Residency. So it's an <coughs> online uh, sound and exper experimental music exchange. And for this part is between Taiwan and Myanmar and organized by Alice, Hui Shen, and Ted from Myanmar, uh, represent uh, Noise in Yangon. And in this uh, section, they will have five artists each in collaborate. So later we will have them uh, like to tell us about how they organize this exchange and also how the collaboration between two artists today. Um, while Lily is online and is able to join us, maybe we could get Lily um, to share first. Okay. How, yeah. after hearing Xiaofeng, because I'm worried Lily would drop off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you okay, talk? I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my story, it's, um, well, I mean, like, I'm very um, curious about, I'm not curious, I'm very concerned about the internet here, because even I, I, I mean, like, we have so many internet problems here. So I think this project was the best idea, how to make an experimental and <laughs> And um, I explained to Ted that Ted, Ted was um, asking me to play this, um, joining this uh, collaboration. And well, I was very happy to join this project, but the problem is that my internet is really bad. And uh, even tonight I have to, you know, go out and coming in several times. And so I asked to Ted maybe like, you know, uh, maybe if I can do experimental, like um, uh, pre-recorded and then overlay it as an experimental and 
that got an idea about the graphics call. And so, yeah, it's happened and I'm very happy. And I am overwhelmed at how um, Xiaofeng um, improvised over my, my truck, let's say. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm very happy and I really enjoy what he did. And I think he has, um, from my point of view, it's very sensible um, um, artist and he responds very, very good in um, artistic way. Um, Xiaofeng, <laughs> do, you, do you want to share? Uh, <笑>这个合作的一点心得 弹性在这个谱中间因为那音乐感觉好像渐渐的落下来了最后结束像中间有一段拜拜Okay, so do I start first? Okay. Okay, so the first part is uh, the feedback on the Xiaofeng performance. Um, I think as a boat, as a curator, I think we made the right choice pairing uh, violin and the flute player on the graphics score because uh, both of the instruments have uh, many variety of extended technique uh, to improvise uh, in, 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 within inside the experimental genre. Um, I really wish Xiaofeng could do uh, a studio recording quality on this piece. <laughs> so we can ace a bit in the future. So I was thinking uh, because the, the way I don't I don't remember who is the graphic designer putting both score into on, on 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 the canvas, and then I the first thing I saw the design, I was thinking, well, what if we frame this graphic score with a very nice frame and hang it on the white wall, and we put two or three headphones and let the ace and it let the audience listening while they're walking through it in the art exhibition museum or something. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. Uh, I really wish to do a bit that 
this piece and this graphic call in the museum in the or anywhere in the future too and the good thing about this is like it's also motivate me and my team to to move on and get a further study on the graphic notation and make more improvised using uh, graphics core um yeah so back to how how i get this idea and everything so i was uh, i was i was a huge fan of uh typography like i mean the typography is getting popular in the in last three or four years in both in commercial and in academic industry so and i'm i'm also a huge fan of uh people making design using uh font like japanese font and chinese font and like how people like based on the font of how how the font seen in the different perspective like for me hebrew font look like a alien like that's how they influence from all these movie like getting some weird alien language so all these uh curvy uh straight um symmetric shape help me think a better uh idea for graphics call so since I'm a huge fan of uh, typography stuff, so I, I choose this plan to make this graphics call. So my graphics call is uh, uh, based on uh, on the game piece. So I will go through and explain how I made this um, graphics call. So uh, Alice, can you help me move to the next slide? <laughs> okay. So the idea of the score is uh, based on the game piece that I uh, used to perform in during the school, uh, during my school in uh, contemporary music. Uh, so my plan came up with uh, both artists choosing a, a short sentence or we could say a motto about uh, the feeling of the artist based on what's going on with their life uh, in, the, in the recent time. So for, for this example, uh, I choose uh, the picture Shit Mess 4. And Lily, uh, the artist, uh, constantly uh, agree with using the same motto. And he, he play on top of that. So Alice, can you help me move next slide? So um, the Burmese font exit in different uh, sh shape, or like I, I prefer saying handwriting style. But when it comes to computer uh, typing, uh, we, we have a lot of curvy shape, as you can see, uh, circular uh, cuff and very straight um, and curvy stuff. So I, for this example, I use the dictionary, dictionary mass field. And then if you put that in the Google translator, it's changed into the Burmese sentence and it's quite long in Burmese. Uh, so I break down all these uh, little alphabet, including all the supporting alphabet. And I break down into three groups. One is they have a different uh, visual and another second group is the supporting group which have the same and repeated uh, pattern in the sentence and the third is combining two uh, sign into one and it could also change into a different meaning uh, to Alice can you help me move to the next slide yes so all these uh, little uh, weird stuff is I, I break down into small part, including the supporting alphabet. So uh, each alphabet, uh, I got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 different uh, 
sign and and i have to choose which sign is uh, made up for which uh, texture so uh, for example if you see this uh, two kind of like two um, circular thing you have to create like one minute solo one minute rhythm and and it it this if somebody want to use this as an example they they could also uh, change all these definition into their own but, but it, it could take a time uh, making these uh, getting absorbed with this uh, rules and play it out so uh, it's kind of ex experimental but you still need to follow uh, the exact uh, not not exactly but um, you still need to follow the instruction of these signs. Uh, next slide. Okay, this is just a translation. Uh, next slide. Okay, so uh, for this example, I sketched out on a paper. So the, as you can see, the arrows are going to the right and going down and going left so it's, it's the whole direction of how my piece want to go all the way to the end um if 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 another artist uh start from the beginning uh it could be a totally different piece and uh, the the arrow indicate from the beginning to the end with the with the right to to the left and to the down to all the way to the end. So the end alphabet, I, I for this example, I choose as a fade out signature. Uh, next slide. Okay, so I I have um, seventeen different um, um, texture, but I don't use all 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 of them in this example. But if, if we could all, all use 17 texture in the graphics score, but it, it could create a very long piece or it, it, could, it might end up very confused. Uh, we still have to come up with another combo. If it's a true game piece, we, it's, it's, it's like playing a card game. It's more fun getting uh, like, like a like a luck drawing card and you just using based on your luck instead of using all uh, 17 texture so so for this example um, um, first my original idea was share the this graphic score play uh, send it to the another artist and play uh, play both sides and march into see the outcome of how how experimental this uh, this could be, but they we use a different approach. Uh, uh, Kamsen Lee from Myanmar play first in a studio, uh, and then I did some editing. I I add some reverb and some delay, and then I send it to Alice, and Alice show it to Shao Phone, and Shao Phone improvise on top of that so it's, it, this is a uh, approach a if if, if, if there's like approach b and approach c uh, there, there could be uh, more rules and more fun thing we, we could add a more fun thing to improvise so next slide uh, yes next slide okay so and why I was sharing this idea with Alice, uh, we we try our best to make it more simple uh, approach. So we added the uh, time frame, like how from one texture to another texture, uh, the the composer need to tell uh, the how many how the duration of the the movement from one texture to another texture. So um, I add um, three minute, one minute, two minute. But if you prefer longer duration of this improvisation, you can add 
more meaning. But deciding the side, deciding the time frame and the the length of uh, the stone is also part of uh, making a piece. So it's also fun. But in the, in the future, maybe maybe the artist could uh, decide first at the time, and and it, it's much it's much better with the someone uh, conducting or we could uh, call up with. Uh, uh, visuals. I, I'm also thinking of moving this uh, idea to uh, uh, real time improvise with a virtual artist. Why also the virtual artist can have some uh, priv privilege to move things around and then uh, the sound artist and virtual artist can also can get a commu communications and get a better result. So for, for this slide, uh, uh, for this example, for for the fourth uh, texture, uh, sometimes you can mix two texture and get two two texture at the same time. Like you have to do two things. For example, you you are creating one minute rhythm with just using low pitch note. So based on this, you can add more meaning by adding all these words together. Uh, next slice. Next slice. Uh, yes. So this last slice is just I put it there because it's uh I, it's so good to see Alice score and my score right next to each other on on the canvas, and and. It, it 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 means uh, so much uh, creativity and it means so much uh, emotional to me. Like by just sharing this graphic call, I uh, I can feel how much we were. I can feel how much we were feeling based on what's happening around us. Okay, I. It's, it, it was a coincidence I used the red marker uh, while I was sketching this out. So I uh, thanks to the graphics uh, designer who helped us uh, put together. And yeah, uh, that was the idea. And I, I was also planning to print this out and frame it and hang it onto my uh, studio room tools. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so should I um, move on to noise and yang on information, like what's, what's we've been doing, what's going on with us? Maybe um, I, will, I will continue to talk about the Chinese text and talk about the concert. Uh, sorry, Lily, do you want to share something? Um, guys, I'm really sorry because I need to leave very early. And um, I the, today is my pre-wedding photo shoot day. And a lot of my friends are waiting me outside to celebrate my pre-wedding days. And anyway. So um, what I would like to share is that um, the graphic score is very good. And um, it was, um, I would say it's a really great experience for me as well to follow the instruction and at the same time to experimental it. So um, sometimes I experimental myself and at the same time I was thinking um, it would be really great that to have some solo duo in, in, in time. So. Um, that's why you can hear <clears throat> at the beginning a lot of like effects and the um, the experimenting of the violin picking sounds and not only with the bowing but also with the hands and those kind of extended technique and well I mean like um, I was very very impressed and happy that Chauvin play our jewel I mean the the part that I was so impressed is the dual part that how he um, responded and 
yeah, I mean, finally, I would like to say that I'm very happy about this this piece. We can call it as a piece. It's at the same time, it's also an experimental music. And um, um, I would like to say thank you, everyone who managed this concert, uh, this program, and um, and um, hope we will will have more concert in the future. And thank you so much for organizing this to Gotet and um, to Alice. And um, yeah, I mean, we'll be keeping in touch. I'm really sorry that I have to leave very early. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye -bye. I will share my wedding folder later. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ted, um, for sharing about your um, whole process of creating the score. So um, Xiao Feng actually found this um, text. So Xiao Feng decided he would respond with um, Jia Gu Wen. So this is sort of an ancient script that is sculpted on turtle's back. Um, so it's much more, much more sort of um, in terms of following the line is much more free form and less sort of square and rigid. So we decided that um, uh, we would break this up and create a similar look and create sort of a much more simple rule. So to give Xiaofeng more freedom to respond to the music. So this is the six uh, character Xiaofeng picked. Human, people, violent, politics, must, death. Next slide, thank you. So um, I uh, created just four really simple rules, or five, um, that Xiaofeng should respond primary to the meaning of the text. And um, the, the stroke going up or down could be the volume or the uh, frequency shift and the left and right could be the accent or the distortion of the sound. And then I picked um, a few kind of like quite unique shapes uh, could look like eyes or mouth. Um, those could be much more rhythmic and much more melodic as a, as a sort of more freedom for Xiaofeng to, to create uh, a more solo part. And the sort of more, again, more simple eyes or mouth sort of shape is actually uh, quite similar to the Burmese, some of the Burmese um, notation. And so Lao's bit is also, um, it's also uh, rhythmic, um, but, but much more melodic. And the previous, the previous sort of more complicated eyes and mouth are um, about repeating certain performances. Um, so creating a small loop. And that is also similar to uh, Ted's score. So we're responding to a few things that Ted has created in rules, but then um, overlaying the two musicians, two languages, um, two different ways of stating this statement. And also then Chafong responded with, um, he's picked up four different instruments and responded with, especially he talked about the end, creating a heartbeat with mouth harp and creating a sense of new beginning, a sense of drive to a new hope to the future. 
So um, this project, uh, as uh, Shidong and Ted both mentioned, this is um, a half a year project and we're hoping to match up five pair of artists and so Shafong and Lily are our artists this month. And the previous month's artist, um, LL and Pinky, they already published as a video on our, on our website, so people can check it out.